Hi, second graders. Welcome to Monday. Today, we are going to talk about facts and details for reading. We did talk about main idea and details, and we said the details are those extra pieces of information that make it more interesting to read and understand. And that happens the same with facts and details. A fact is something that's true. A fact says right here, you can prove it to be true. Here are some examples of some facts. Spiders have eight legs. That is a fact. We could look it up. We could be like this little detective up here and find that evidence. We could maybe look on the computer in a book and find that to be a true fact, a true statement. The second one, the ocean is made up of salt water. Once again, we could prove it. If someone didn't believe us, we could prove it to be true. It's a fact. And the last one, ice is frozen water. Another sentence that is a fact, true information. But sometimes we want more details to talk about this fact, to let us have a better idea in our head, to help us with our thinking voice so we can visualize it. So as I look down my poster here, it says details are small bits of information. We already knew that. We, we learned that when we were talking about the main idea. So if I look at the example that's on this poster, it says a duck is a bird. Fact, we could prove that. But they added some details, some more information. It has webbed feet, wings, and a beak. Ducks can swim and fly. So those are some small details about the fact that the duck is a bird. We're going to look at some more facts today and see how those details make it a little more interesting and help us with our visuals, visualizing it. So I took this first one, spiders have eight legs, and I wrote fact. We've already said we can prove it. But look at what I wrote in red. Those are details. It is black with orange stripes because there's lots of spiders and all of those spiders will have eight legs. But maybe the spider I'm explaining or talking about is that black one that has the orange stripes. That's a detail. And it's crawling on the driveway. That's another detail about this spider. Let's look at the ocean is made up of salt water. That is a fact. We can prove it. But if we wanted to add some more small bits of information to this fact, we could say it has big waves during the day. That would be a detail. The ocean is very deep, another detail. And sometimes kids get a little confused. They might say, well, those sound like they could be facts also. And a fact is anything you can prove to be true. But we also can add details that support that fact or give us a little better picture so that we, we can visualize it and we can imagine it and we can remember it. So when we read, this is a skill that we need to be thinking about. You might be reading about some facts in your nonfiction books. See what details the author has included to make it a little more interesting. Thanks for listening today. Keep reading. Find a good nonfiction book today and read that maybe during your read to self time.